Hi there, I'm Rita and I know that I've been missing from YouTube but I haven't been feeling like doing videos or whatever <laughs> Yeah, I know that I'm lazy But um, yeah, so last upload that I did was about this box over here and it was, it is to supposedly win a trip to Japan that I hopefully I win something even if it's not the trip that I would like the trip so I thought why not filming trying the snacks and also this sleepy head over here will try them too <laughs> I know how to read some of them because I've learned Japanese but I don't know the meaning so what's the point point? and I tried Google Translate but he didn't translate a thing so the first one is potatoes <laughs> we have three of them it says real potatoes over here from what we get from the translation and supposedly over here it says the flavor but I don't know what it is I like to smell the food serious? first I like to smell it first Oh, I thought you were struggling to open them. Ah, yeah, a bit. They're crispy. Well, they're potatoes. Of no, course. they're crisps. They're crispy crisps. Okay. They taste like normal... Potatoes. Yeah, no weird flavor that I, I was supposed to... Have. It's just a normal potato. I'm disappointed. They have a taste of scallops. It doesn't taste like it. Well, that's because you're used to microwave food and you don't have a developed taste. Yeah, he's supposedly to be a chef. Supposedly? So now I will try the mountain man or whatever. <laughs> the mountain man. This one I think... These crisp taste of mountain man. It's supposed to be goat flavor. Oh, it says Benley Mountain Goat. It tastes like onions. <laughs> onions. <laughs> onions. <laughs> oh, tastes... mon frère, I like the onion. Yeah, pardon my French, but my I'm not English. Like onion. this one here. Do you like it? I, I can definitely taste the Benley Mountain Goat. <laughs> It's like a potato. I'm disappointed with them all. They only taste like potatoes. Well, it's because you don't know what they're supposed to taste like. Well, when you eat like a ham potato or a ketchup, you taste that. Yeah, well, the Japanese are more low profile about their... They are more cultured, okay? So they have their taste buds much more developed. You give this to a pr Japanese person, he's going to tell you it's vegetables instantly with this one I'm curious because uh, it says it says caramel corn ah oh, it really smells like a latte or a cappuccino oh it does what mm. is that like a cheeto no it's it sweet like it's sweet cheetos can be sweet it's nice kind of you can taste the corn. You can taste the tea. The matcha. Yeah. And you can taste the latte. Because oh. supposedly it has these three flavors. Yeah, you can definitely taste them all. That's mm. really interesting. Yeah, the aftertaste, it tastes a lot like matcha. Did you matcha. see how I detected the aftertaste a lot sooner than you did? Of That's course. because I'm educated. <laughs> this one I don't want to open because it's probably... Um... Do you want to make YouTube success? Would you be happy if somebody... Would you be happy if somebody didn't like, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to open this. I'll just leave you to like, wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> because fuck you, I want to save it for later. Okay. I'm going to make a one minute vlog about what this lollipop tastes like. I'm going to open this one yeah, you because he doesn't shut up. Should I try it? I have a baby. Yeah, yeah, I just realized. Okay. <laughs> Just taste of caramel. So the next one is this one and it's already open because I thought that the camera was recording and it was not. But um, we already tried it. It's like this. 
and it's nothing special. It's like it only tastes like fries. French fry that's glazed with sugar, and that's pretty much it. It's it, weird. Yeah, but it's weird. Like it's not like when you eat those peanuts with uh, sugar on it and honey. It's just weird because it tastes like the French fry, but it has some subtle. Uh, sugar coat on it. Up until now, I didn't like a thing. Ah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's actually salty. It's not. Hey, can I have it's one? It's lemon. Remember those um, corn flakes? Yeah, puffed rice. Yeah. I thought this would be chocolate. <laughs> okay, now is this one. Please, this be chocolate. Please, please, please be chocolate. It's not. This one I like. Oh I my know. god, you liked it. Okay, now we have this thing that you will eat it. I won't. Um, it says uh, fried squid snack with pepper meat, uh, pepper steak flavor. And it has meat here. So um, these guys take the damn squid that lives happily in the ocean and then they make it taste like cow or pork why? I don't know I mean uh, I don't... <laughs> it, it smells like food, cat food yeah because it's a concentrated flavor of cow hey I like cat food I'll eat anything no 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 it smells fish food like fish food oh let me see Oh, so it does. It's a little thing like that. It's, it looks like a pork crackling. Alright, here's the problem. Full chef analysis in here. <laughs> it's got... It's, it definitely tastes of squid at the beginning. It tastes fishy. And then the flavouring kicks in. And then you taste the pepper. And then mostly salt. And then at the end, it's just taste of steak. Like a good beef jerky. Now we have something that looks like the treats we give to dogs. That is this thing. Does it smell of dog food? Does it taste of dog food? Mmm. This is mine. Yeah, can I have a tiny bit? It's really nice. It's a caramel wafer on a strange shape. It's not caramel at all. So as you can see, you can see the cocoa and this white stuff, it's like some cor some type of uh, cream. Cream? It's a creamy thing inside. Opa! It's creamy. It's creamy on the inside. <laughs> there you go. It's really nice. It's creamy on the inside. And it tastes like cocoa. And finally I have a sweet on my own, my own, of my own, of my own. So this one will be mine and he will have everything else that it's salty. And for at for last we have gummies. Oh yeah. <laughs> that are like um I don't know what they have inside. I don't know if it's strawberry or if it's chocolate. Probably it's chocolate. Chocolate. I I'm not Russian. I'm from the Bronx. Chocolate. <laughs> This one will be better to keep because it has this kind of thing to preserve. Mmm, it smells so nice. It tastes like... It tastes... You haven't tasted it? <laughs> you can tell what yeah. it tastes like? It smells... <laughs> it smells like artificial... Sorry. Artificial. Artificial. It's better to speak like this because you won't make fun of me. Oh, it's got chocolate in the middle. Wow. Is that chocolate in the middle? Yeah. Hey, can I have one? No. Hey. <laughs> it's really nice, this one. Is it? Yes. Because it's really acidic on the outside because of the sugar and such. And then the gummy itself, it's strawberry and it's sweet. And then inside it's even sweeter because it has the chocolate. Okay. I will try to bite one so you can see the, the filling. So I, as you can see it has the filling of chocolate. 
and the rest is strawberry gummy and then it has the sugar that it's, it makes it acidic this thing is probably a chocolate coin this thing is also a chocolate I suppose I don't know I will have to taste it first and then a gummy bear that it's really cute so let's taste them yeah chocolate finally some chocolate ordinary old chocolate yeah then the cake does it not taste a cake mmm it tastes a cake yeah hey there you go no oh, it's just chocolate and for last the bear Ooh, it's apple it smells so good at apple at apple of apple of apple <laughs> me trying to speak get out I'm gonna destroy you <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? Mm, this one is nice. So yeah, I hope you liked my quick video vlog about stuff inside a box that's supposedly from Japan. At least it's all written in Japanese, so we assume it's from Japan. Also, the mail came from an airplane and it says it comes from Japan, so yeah. Um, hope you liked it. I hope you get inspired to eat Japanese stuff and I hope you liked your review from our Michelin chef no he's not Michelin but he's a chef <laughs> and I'll see you around I don't know when because as I told you I've been a little busy and lazy to do videos but we'll keep in touch bye